If there's one thing Fortnite does better than any other game on the earth, it's all the different and new collaborations that we've received over the years. We've literally gotten more than any game ever, but none of them compare to the newest collaboration. But first, if you don't hit the thumbs up button on this video, in exactly 111 days, whenever you log on to Fortnite, this'll happen. No! But if you do with the thumbs up button, in exactly 111 days when you log on to Fortnite, this will be waiting for you. The choice is all yours, so choose carefully. We've wasted too much time, ladies and gentlemen. We got a ton to cover in this video, including one of the coolest collaborations ever. Let's get into it. Now, before we reveal exactly what the newest collaboration is, first things first, who remembers Chapter 1 Season 7? Our very first snow-themed season, where we had the giant Polar Peak location, and we even had the Ice King live event. Well, during that season, there was one of the most powerful mythic weapons we'd ever seen in the game, known as the Infinity Blade. Now, this thing was so powerful, Epic Games quickly ended up removing it. And we've been expecting to see this thing return for a very long time. Since, after all, Epic Games has literally nerfed it in the Fortnite game files, and now do even less damage. Damage, and it's no longer the extremely overpowered weapon it once was. Because here in Season 4, the main character, Kato Thorn, is a collector. Obviously, collecting some of the most powerful artifacts, including things like Midas' drum gun, and so many other powerful mythic weapons. Well, check this out. In Nolan Chance's loading screen, known as Tactical Nolan Chance, you're able to see a mysterious artifact in the background, actually being none other than the Affinity Blade itself. Now I know, going through every single vault of the game, you're not able to find this artifact or mythic weapon anywhere. And I think I know why. You know how this entire season started off with an eclipse that gave power to Kato Thorne's time machine so he could enter our reality? Well, as it stands right now, we still don't know what is actually blocking out the sun and causing the eclipse to happen. Some people think it's the cube's cradle and the last reality. However, seeing the infinity blade inside of this loading screen leads me to believe that it could be the Ice Moon, Ice King's home himself where he has been residing for the last few chapters. On top of that, we know that the Ice Moon is still orbiting our current current Fortnite island. Either way, it's looking incredibly likely that not only we'll see the return of the Ice King, but even his mythic weapon itself, the Infinity Blade. But now it's finally time to reveal Fortnite's newest collaboration that we have been waiting an incredibly long time for, longer than any collab in the history of Fortnite. Now, this all started all the way back in Chapter 2, Season 5, where we had the Zero Point on the island, and the Zero Point actually began opening up all of these different rift portals, with each and every single one of them bringing characters from a different universe into Fortnite. At that very same time, inside of the Fortnite game files, new male skin was discovered with the code name French Fry. And the code names itself are always a teaser at what the skin actually is. For example, when Ninja received his Icon Series skin, his code name was TB, being Ninja's literal initials for Tyler Blevins, which led all of us to believe that the leaked French Fry code name skin is none other than Freddy Fazbear from the Five Nights at Freddy's series. After all, it would have fit in literally perfect with that season. Since the zero point was going around opening up all of those portals. Not to mention, this was the exact same time the Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach game released. However, we were all incredibly disappointed when Scott Cawthon, the original creator of Five Nights at Freddy's, actually came out and said that they have no collabs planned for either Fortnite or Fall Guys, and for the next year, they're only focusing on solo Five Nights at Freddy projects. And now, it's officially been more than a year. More than two years, actually, coming up on three. And here we are dropping into a game, ladies and gentlemen, I decided to equip the Quackity skin. I don't know about you, but I see a lot of similarities between the Quackity skin and Chica from Five Nights at Freddy's. In the meantime, until we can rock the actual Chica skin, I guess this will have to do. And I'm here to show you something awesome, ladies and gentlemen. We're actually making our way to the Slappy Shores location. I'm pretty sure our very first teaser of the upcoming collaboration with Five Nights at Freddy is actually located. I really don't think anybody has noticed yet. So if you actually make your way over to the other side, opposite of the giant slap juice factory find something very very interesting actually being a building that wasn't here last season or any other season before that yes ladies and gentlemen finally the pizza pit is back in the game now a lot of people out there think the reason this point of interest was re-added to the map was for a possible upcoming teenage mutant turtles collab since after all the ninja turtles recently had a brand new movie come out in theaters and a lot of rumors about a possible tmnt collaboration over the past few weeks that is likely 
actually not the case. And instead, the reason we've seen the Pizza Pit now return to the island is for the upcoming Five Nights at Freddy's collaboration. I'm sure a lot of you Five Nights at Freddy fans out there already know this, but coming up very, very soon on October 27th, very, very first Five Nights at Freddy's movies is going to be released. Something really, really cool about the movie is that all of it will actually take place at Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria, which is based off one of the first FNAF games. Like I mentioned, this new movie is scheduled to actually come out on October 27th. At that very same time, we're actually supposed to have an event going down here inside of Fortnite, our yearly Fort Nightmares event, where each and every single year, we'll see a bunch of Halloween changes, come to the actual Fortnite Island, and even get a bunch of Halloween skins. Obviously, the release of the brand new FNAF movie matches up literally perfectly with the release of this year's Fort Nightmares, making it the absolute perfect time to release when you combine that with the fact we literally got a new pizza shop on the island this season almost guarantees that this halloween will finally be the halloween where we see this collaboration come to fruition on top of that there's actually a leaked skin inside of the fortnite game files that we think could be one of the brand new five nights at freddy's skins now thankfully it isn't that french fry skin that leaked over two years ago that we don't think we'll actually ever see release which honestly isn't too big of a deal because we weren't really sure that that was even an fnaf skin to begin with and it was just all of us kind of guessing and making theories based on previous code names and leaked skins before as we get closer and closer to the release of fort nightmares and closer and closer to the release of the fnaf movie we're gonna get more and more information now i'll make sure to do my best to keep all of you guys updated with this information i know this is something we've waited forever for personally i'm more excited for this collab than any collab in all of fortnite but you know what lads we only got 60 more enemies remaining i think it's time to turn up get the dub and i even have one of the brand new shield breaker emps which i could couldn't find last video for the life of me. Let's try this thing out, shall we? Shield breaker. Oh, we got him. Come on, buddy. Yes. Dude, these things are sick. And you get six of them, too. That's nuts. Oh, we got some more enemies right here. Yep. Come on, lads. There we go. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, yeah. Oh, dear. That is not good. Look at the zone. It's closing in fast. Oh, see this guy up here? See him? I see him. Yep, right here. Right here. He's shooting a dinosaur. What are you doing? This gun's kind of... Yes! Oh my goodness, dude. The zone is not our friend. Look how far we have to go. What the heck? What are you doing? Thanks for playing, buddy. Ooh. All right. I see a bunch of them. Come on. Yep. No, now seems like a good time to use the shield turret. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on. Yep. Uh oh. Oh! The turret is doing nothing. Help me, buddy. I must have just thrown that in a horrible spot, dude, because it didn't do anything. Oh, never mind. There's one right here. Get him, turret. Get him, buddy. Come on. He's so weak. He's so weak. He's so weak. He's so weak. Fine, I'll get him. Good news is we only got 26 more enemies remaining. This message is literally stuck on my screen. What the heck, dude? Oh, get a load of this. There's some enemies over here. Shield breaker. Now we light him up. Come on. Yep. Okay, all right. Let's calm it down, buddies. Calm it down. Time to wreak havoc. So weak. Yes. Ah. Come on. So weak. Yes. Focus up, lads. Uh. Oh, let's go. 12 more enemies. That's it. I see one of them. Woo. Look at this dude. He's gliding in. He's gliding in. Mate. Mate. Ooh. What? How in the world are you still alive, broski? Where did you go? Oh, my goodness. He's right here. What? Now he is shield. Yes. See you, lad. Oh, my goodness. The jumping. The jumping. Bro, what is going on down there? Seems like something crazy is happening, huh? Ooh, right here. Right here. Right here. Eight, 10. 27. Oh, there's a different one right here, huh? Yep. Okay. All right. Wow. It is definitely not a long-range weapon. Let me tell you that. Not a long-range weapon. Right here by the reboot van. I see you, buddy. Come on. Right here. Here he is. Yes. Just one more enemy now. That's it, boys. There he is. There he is. There he is. He just ran in the storm. What is this guy doing? Come on. The storm's gonna get him. Yes, it did. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. The victory royale. As soon as the Five Night at Freddy's collaboration finally starts to take place, I'm gonna let all of you guys know by making a tweet over my Twitter account, at HomeAgamesYT. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Have an absolutely incredible rest of your day. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.